Today I've started making videos on TikTok. I had a quick chat with Jeremiah McDonald about TikTok and I agreed with him actually that, phew, you know, there's just no way. Well, a few days later, here I am doing what I said I wasn't going to do. The main difference between TikTok and YouTube is that for TikTok, I have to speak a lot faster because the limit is three minutes, which is funny. You know, when I started on YouTube in 2015, 2016, I spoke very fast indeed. And I made three minute videos mostly, and they were edited, edited one sentence at a time. I would think up a sentence, say it. I would go for walks. So I would walk think up a sentence, say it to my phone, walk another 100 metres, record another sentence that I've thought of to add that, and it worked pretty well. But uh, one thing was that walking around out in public doing that is hard. Um, it's very hard. It's super hard. If you're not thinking about it, it's fine. But as soon as you start thinking about it, it just feels like it's the craziest thing to be doing. So I couldn't keep that up. So I started doing them inside. But also, I, at some point, I got sick of this jump cut approach to making videos because it's, well, one of the things was it became widespread. It seemed like everybody was doing it. Lots of people were doing it anyway. And also, the sort of the manic persona the aggro of it was getting on top of me. It was sort of, I think it maybe it was even depressing me to have to play this just extremely full on intense character because I don't talk to people, you know, like that in real life. <laughs> we try to, I try to behave like a, a human being. And, uh, geez, that, that's been a very long road working out how to how to use YouTube in a way that suits me. I keep coming back to it, you know, because it's 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 there to be done, and and, and it's a set of skills that I've taught myself. Um, skills like editing. I mean, I do almost no editing with my talking videos now. I like to do it all in one go. It excites me to be able to start talking. Talk, 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 finish, done. One thing. Part of that is that it's the quickest way to operate and that's important to me because you never know uh, if anyone's even going to see what you're doing. Maybe only a few people will see it and, you know, I can't afford to be putting huge amounts of effort into something that's not really going to, yeah, be seen by too many people. Not that that's really the point of what I do. I mean, as with my stand-up comedy and as with my art, the things I make, it is about the art, it is about the craft. Yeah, it's about getting better at the craft. It's about improving. That's what is really the point. Anyway, so at this point in the story, I'm just going to leave a whole chunk out. And here we are, many years later, I've learned that I'm autistic and that was the piece that was the missing piece of the puzzle that I needed so that I could finally be the version of myself that I need to be with a camera that is real where I'm not putting on an act it's just me and like it's it's changed everything and in a way I can't even think about what I used to do with YouTube it's so alien to me now. I mean, as you know, Give Me a Break Man pointed out, I've made private nearly all of my videos. I did that years ago uh, because they just made me so uncomfortable, you know, because I was always reacting to something. So I guess that's what I see when I look at the old videos. I see a reactionary, which is not someone I want to be, you know. Uh, you know, I'm no angel, but I'm also not, not a complete piece of shit and when I started on YouTube I did meet YouTubers who were to my reckoning pieces of shit or at least hacks like they just had no original ideas 
They weren't interested in having original ideas. They were only interested in fame and fortune. And that really turned my stomach. I, you know, hated that approach to something that could be really special. And back in the day, back then, there were a lot of people who did want to do things like try to form, you know, community and friendships. And that was, you know, that was cool. Um, I have made friends through this. Uh, I've also had some extremely embarrassing interactions with people uh, that turned out to not be great people at all. And I won't mention some people. There's a couple of people in particular from back then who turned out to be three people actually who turned out to be terrible people. Uh, but you know, whatever. Okay. In every space I've ever been in, there's always, there always turns out to be someone there who's terrible, but that's not the point of this video I'm talking about how TikTok and YouTube are different. So now that I've in what, I've found my voice is what you would call it, you know, in artistic and performer speak. I've found my voice. It's taken a long time. I didn't know I was autistic. So, of course, it's taken this long. So it doesn't matter. It's here. Now. I'm here now doing my thing. And all I want to do is make videos. I mean, it's not the only thing I want to do. There, there's other things I, I do, you know. I, I'm an artist. Um I'm not in a position to do stand-up comedy at the moment because I'm in a country town. So, you know, you need to be in the city for that shit, but okay, that's okay. Um, I could spend all my time making sculpture. I love it. You know, making sculpture and listening to podcasts about horrific world events is just very soothing to me, but I've got a lot to say. I always have. And I think that for all of the, you know, spiky, pain in the ass, meltdown behaviour. Um, and I hope I'm not trying to put too much of a gloss on my own behaviour, like I'm some just eternally nice guy. I know I've been, you know, an asshole to people. Um, at the same time, that's not something that weighs on my conscience too heavily now, because now I understand why, you know. Again, it comes back to, oh, I didn't know I was autistic. Um, uh, you know, I got a traumatised, horrible background. My childhood was fucking awful. So, of course, I had a chip on my shoulder. But now I'm here. And all the things that I've been talking about, the subject matter, we're essentially, you know, as I was saying in a... I was talking about someone, this with someone the other day and it was the idea of I should make a T-shirt that says I'm autistic and my special interest is revolution because that's what I've been talking about I think since the beginning is that I keep coming back to there needs to be a revolution. I rarely use the revolution, the word revolution, but that that's what I you know believe. Whether it happens or not you know, in my lifetime, well, there's not much I can do about that. I can only... Um, from where I am, people have beliefs that are wrong <laughs> and I'm right. And what I, all I can do is gently prepare them for understanding that I'm right by sharing my ideas. Now, of course, this back, backfires horribly for me because people can simply decide to stop listening to me because I make them uncomfortable and make them feel bad because I'm talking about things, you know, that um, that are upsetting. Uh, things like we, the world is on fire, you know, the world is burning. Um, and and here in Australia, the, 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 the country I can observe the most closely, you know, the people I interact with most closely are people that are struggling horribly with, um, the an iron death grip of capitalism that is just sucking the fucking life out of them and people are ending their lives, you know, because of it. It's awful and the whole system needs to change a lot. Uh, I used to think that uh, if, if a lot of people just did a little tiny bit of work, things would change a lot. 
now I don't know if that's true or if it's just the case that a small number of people, you know, working together uh, can can change things. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, all I can do is keep talking about the things that I can see and that I can, you know, generate insights about and share with people. And people don't have to agree uh, with, with everything I'm, I'm saying. And I realise in this video I'm not being funny at all, but, you know, so what? At the moment, uh, the videos I'm making are to build a body of work, okay? I realised I was autistic, I was diagnosed, and I realised, oh, well, then I'm, I need to get back into making videos um, because what, what I'm doing is generating in ideas, generating insights, and... You know, building something, and all of my heroes have languished in obscurity, you know. Um, but when the time comes to you know, listen to what these people have to say about the way of the world, um, there needs to be a body of work there for to to look at and to pick through. You know, what is what is this guy been talking about? Uh, I don't think what I have to say is so particularly original, uh, but there. Every person is unique. Uh, I do have a voice and there are nowhere near enough people talking on YouTube and other spaces about the desperate need to change the world. And, you know, that, so that's what I want to be part of. Um, you know, while also um, having a good time. I mean, even now while I'm being very serious, uh, I'm not being funny or anything like that. I'm still having a, 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 a fucking, I'm still having a good time because I'm fully engaged in what I'm doing. And, you know, I think part of the revolution, the revolutionary idea for me is, is I want to see people, you know, engaged in their lives and not, you know, stuck, stuck in, I don't know, just a sort of superficial nothingness Unfortunately, for a lot of people struggling in this world, that's almost the space you feel like you have to be in, a, a, a space where you're just spinning your wheels, you're in neutral, you're not doing too much, you um sort of just lying on your side and panting, <laughs> conserving your energy, just hanging in there, waiting for something to happen. Uh, I'm waiting for something to happen. I'm one of those people. Um, I'm badly hurt by the way the world has treated me and... So very many people in my lives and so many people I observe as I catch up with the news every day and it's traumatising and we need to keep communicating with each other um, and try to build a, a much, much, much better world because the people in charge um, are building the world that's on fire. That's the only plan they have for the future is that the, the, the future is going to be on fire. And, you know, we, that, uh, well, I'm just saying it's probably a good idea to do something about that. Okay, good. Nice. I mean, that's, yeah, okay. Um, the end.